We must all one day face our fears, my child. Even you, with the blood of royalty coursing through your veins. You will pay dearly for what you have done. Follow your path. Help will come in its own way. Thank you. You were given the greatest gift. Cupid chose you to be his wife. You were ready to kill him. No god will help you now. Little does she know that Cupid has been hers since the beginning of time. The greatest thing we'll ever learn is just to love and to be loved in return. She is so close and yet... But it just, I think the story go, how the story goes is like the heart and the soul, they belong together. Like one cannot survive without the other, you know? I guess, but it's like he lived all her life without Cupid. But it wasn't very fulfilling. She See, just, like, this is back to what I was talking about with Bobby. What? But like, what's the difference between happiness and fulfillment? Well, happiness, you like feel joy. Fulfillment is like, you're not I mean, necessarily... What do you do with your life? You're not necessarily happy, you just feel like you've done something good. But that doesn't necessarily make you happy, it just... Well, makes, I mean... It make, can make you feel good, but it can't, but maybe it does bring, like, it can bring joy, but not like complete happiness. It's your life, you should just make sure that you get to be happy during your life. I well, mean, that's exactly what Psyche does. You only get a certain amount of time to live, so you just do whatever you want. Well, well I mean, without... You, you, know, should, she, she you should do something morally good, but you shouldn't just let people tell you whatever you want to do or tell, or let people tell you what you should or shouldn't do or what's wrong and what's right. But Psyche does, because her love is so strong for Cupid that she does all those impossible tasks even though people help her. And what... How would you... Uh, what's Cupid's deal anyway? He thinks he could just let her. He thinks that he should. That Cupid Psyche like should just trust him no matter what. You have to. I mean, no. it has to be equal. He's putting so much. Well, I mean, he didn't do anything for her, and he's making. Of course, he did tons for her. He gave her the beautiful house, all the. But he separated her from her family. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He let She'll her. Never, he, what about her parents? Who? Oh. She friends. Friends. She asked to see, see her sisters, and he let her. But he, but she was a foolish one to listen to her sister's jealousy, and d d betrayed. Oh, he he expects so much expects so much from her, and expects no. nothing. And she expects nothing. And he expects nothing in return. He gives her so much, and then he just all he expects from her is trust, and that's the one thing that she doesn't. I know, but where does he come off thinking that he can give her what he could like tell her what to do no matter what, and she'll always do it? No, he's just warning her. He's telling her, and "Don't she look at me." She loves him, and yeah, if you loved someone, you wouldn't be afraid of anything. You wouldn't be afraid to show your love. So why should you be afraid to show not, your face? He's not afraid. He's a coward. He's not a coward. It's just that they're not supposed to be together. So if you love someone, that doesn't you should see supposed to be. What does that mean anyway? I don't really know. See, you're, they're not supposed to be together. Who told them they couldn't be together? They're they're allowed to do whatever they want. Well, mortals and immortals they have a long history of not really. Well, it doesn't matter. Meshing. It's not like it doesn't matter. If you love oh, someone, I mean, then you should just be with them and not be afraid of anyone being mad at you. Because okay. they should understand if they really loved you. Well, in the end, they do. See, in the end, I'm right and you're wrong. Um, not <laughs> yeah. because in the end, in the end, I'm right. Well, I think it's also the whole lesson is maybe, maybe there are like, thousands, le thousands of lessons in each myth. Well, I know, but maybe the thing is. Venus is the mind, and Psyche and Cupid are the heart and soul, and the heart and soul triumph over the Venus. Yes, I mean the mind.
your mom tells me to do because she's something that I want zeroes are. Hey, maybe that's where all the evil mother-in-law stories come from. Probably. Yeah, don't, but don't you think that it's, it is the heart and soul overcoming the mind? Yes. I guess. Let's go get some seltzer water. Cuban psyche overcoming Venus and her power. I want some berry juice too. Come on. Okay, okay. <laughs>